<laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Junior, and we're going to sit here and talk about Dragon Ball Super episode 127. Um, also on this page is my live reaction to the episode, but right now we're just going to do the review. If you haven't seen my live reaction to it, go ahead and click the link down below. But all we're really going to be talking about today is just how I, yeah, how I interpreted the episode. Um, honestly, because I haven't done reviews in the past two weeks, just because I just felt like there wasn't that much to talk about and I had issues with my PC. Uh, but, you know, it, it was... It was a good episode. Um, I've watched it three times now. It was a good episode, but if I have, if I, if I, if I have, if I can be critical, Dragon Ball Super is ending in four episodes because it's on one twenty-seven. So we still got one twenty-eight through one thirty-one. Um, their pacing. They're making the same mistake that the Future Trunks arc made, in my opinion. What I mean by that, and if you guys are going to call me a hater or whatever, you can say it in the comments, say how you feel, I don't care. Um, but this episode rushed a lot of things. I'm happy that they did let us know Jiren's weakness. I'm happy for that. But I feel like it. they could have... They could have laid that out differently, or I don't know. It just had. It had. Maybe it. Maybe I'm thinking about it because I know that Super is ending soon. So maybe that's just a, a a me issue as far as being a fan. But you know, the episode was. I like the episode. It was good. It was a good episode. I won't say it's great. It was a good episode. Um, action based. A little bit of lore for Jiren. A little bit of a back uh, background for Jiren. Great moment. I mean, honestly, the past Jesus six episodes have been good character development for seventeen. As sad as I may or may not be, I am sad. But just for people, this is talking to people who aren't sad. Uh, for seventeen dying guys, he's coming back. Um, we already know that Super isn't gonna retcon uh the end of Z strictly because Toyo Taro said so. Um. And he, I mean, come on, that, that would be, can you imagine if Super, like, what if they die and then, you know, off a of cliffhanger type stuff? But, like, but no, we know that Goku still has to meet Oob. We know that the end of Z still has to come into fruition. So, I'm not really worried about it, um, but it is, I, I really look forward to, if we do get another series, I am looking forward to the next kind of step as far as, after Z, because then we really don't know what the heck will happen. But no, the episode was great. You know, we get a lot of I I, I like Jiren's backstory, but at the same time, I feel like you kind of open up a bag of worms that you're not going to be able to finish. And if they do finish it, that's great. But if you finish it, then you're really rushing it. And that's not just my opinion. Because let's say in the next two episodes or next week's episode or anything. You reveal that Jiren tells us who the person who killed his his master and his parents are. You know what? What if what if that comes out? Okay, well, dang, we just got introduced to this major, you know, key. Um, 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 I'm sorry, this key character point, plot point for this character, and. The next episode, we already get a resolution for it. No, I need, I need, I need to marinate. I need that to marinate because, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I remember as a kid, if if anything will come up on any given anime, not just Dragon Ball, you know, you have an issue, and then you're sitting here pondering. Like, I need that time to ponder. I feel like that's one of the things that Dragon Ball Super has kind of had an issue with. I don't have enough time to ponder. Granted, it's a different age. We have spoilers. You know, it's everything's very, um, everything's very uh, cyber. It's all, all through the internet. But you know, um, it was it was it's, it's, it's a it. I, I want them to wait. If we're gonna get more information on Jiren, I would like it to be in twenty twenty nine, maybe. But we know we've seen the spoilers, and I mean, hey, we don't know everything's gonna happen, so I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna say that, and we're not gonna talk about spoilers on this video. But the episode was a good episode. Um, like I said, great character development for um, Android seventeen. Uh, you see him being human. He states it. We, he states it. We see, you know, 
we, we, we already know the tone. Even if you're not watching the spoilers, you know the tone of how this fight's going to go. If you're a longtime Dragon Ball fan, you kind of have a hint of how this fight's going to play out, more or less. Um, but it, it's, it was a good episode. It was a good episode. That's really all I can walk away saying from it. Um, it's nice to see that Jiren isn't just this, this tanked being. He's, he's someone who can take damage. It's just that he's very, um, cautious. Not cautious, but he's observant. He's on guard. Because when 17 hit him with that blast, he, you know, he wasn't prepared for it. He caught him off guard. Off guard, things can damage him. So that kind of goes, because that attack, if, you know, I'm not going to get into that, but from what I'm, from what I'm guessing, and I'm only guessing, I'm not stating anything to be fact, that attack isn't stronger than the spirit bomb. Hey, if it is, then Jesus 17, what are you doing? But that attack isn't stronger than a super spirit bomb. So, you know, you're doing all your stuff with that, and that damaged him. Imagine if he caught, imagine, you know, can't believe, I can't even fathom that, but imagine if Jiren got hit with a, <laughs> imagine if Jiren got hit with a spirit bomb and he didn't notice this big blue orb of Genki hurling towards him. But no, that, no, that, you know, he, he would have been defeated. Um, but next week we do definitely have, uh, <laughs> we do definitely have Vegeta, uh, stepping up. 17 is gone. Um, you know, uh, I, I, even though it sucks that he's gone, it was, it was good narratively. Does that make sense? Like, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not really happy that he's dead, but it makes, it, it made sense. It made sense. And if you know Dragon Ball, I'm not going to say like, I'm not going to sit here and rag on the series. I love the series. Obviously, I would be doing a review on it. But if, if you know the series, the, the you know, they, they they don't make the most sense all the time, but hey, you know they that makes sense. Hey, I'm gonna protect Goku and Vegeta. I'm gonna try to hold back this massive energy uh, blast bomb, whatever you want to call it, because it's, it's a spear and it's not a, a steady flow of energy, so it's not a blast. But you know, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm gonna handle this and um, to to prevent it from knocking all three of them out. I also have to self-destruct. And what this reminded, because at first when I saw that, that, that 17 did, in fact, die. Because when I'm looking for it, I'm looking for him to get into the stands. I'm like, okay, he's, he's out. Where's he at in the stands? And I'm, when I notice that he's not in the stands, I'm like, yo, where, 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 where is he? And he's like, he's self-destructed. It's only, it's, it can only be assumed that he's self-destructed. That's what they assume, that he's self-destructed. And it's confirmed that he did sacrifice himself. And I'm like, well, it does suck, but it makes sense. You sacrificed yourself. You said it before you did it. It, it makes sense. It's not strong enough to overcome the blast, but it was strong enough to nullify the blast. So that makes it equal force to nullify that blast. But like I said, one thing that I was sad about is because, and I have to always remember this, that the Super Dragon Balls are not, are, are more powerful than even the Namekian Dragon Balls. Because I when I when I think I think of the Earth Dragon Balls and I'm like Earth Dragon Balls couldn't even bring back sixteen, you know? But I'm like, Super Dragon Balls are in a league of their own. Don't get don't get you know, seventeen's coming back, guys. So if you're if if you're sitting here crying and oh my god, what am I gonna do? Seventeen is gone. Seventeen's coming back, relax. I mean probably at episode one thirty one or one thirty. Maybe maybe one thirty. If 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 I was a betting boy, I think one thirty one's gonna kinda be that Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, thanks guys for Dragon Ball Super. I think it's gonna be like that. And uh, another thing with this episode, if you're a Frieza fan, I'm sorry. Frieza has been getting treated like the past three episodes. Jesus, I'm sorry. Like it's been it's it's been bad. He got treated in uh <laughs> he got treated in 125 by Topo. He got treated again in 126 by Topo, and then he gets treated in 127 by Jiren. And if you want to take it back, he got treated by Dispo, and, ah, ah, jeez. I mean, I understand this for a reason, so I'm not right. I'm not saying, like, three people are taking L. I, I, if, I, if I'm to theorize what I believe would happen, I'm, I'm going with the, with, with the, with the notion that 
Frieza is going to be the last person standing in this thing, guys. Uh, just, just because of how they're handling him. Think about it. Topo could have threw this man out two episodes ago, 125. Topo could have threw him out, even though 17 saved him. But 17, 17 saved him, and it, and it makes sense for 17's character to have saved him. But at the same time, it's also a plot move. It's a plot move. Like when I watch series, and I and I kind of hate that I do this. I look at things from a from a plot point and a director's standpoint more than I look at it from a fan. I guess that's just me being over logical. But Frieza has been saved for three episodes straight, and they made you and they tried to make you for made you. They tried. Hello, English. They tried to make you forget that Frieza was in it because if you look at the last still. From episode 126, when it was showing you, oh, basically your 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 frame of the what's gonna happen next time on Dragon Ball Super for all my English dub, you know, people who grew up on the English dub. Um, yes, they, they basically that frame they only showed 17 Goku and Vegeta. They didn't show you Frieza because you're supposed to kind of forget Frieza. Frieza comes in. Oh, I forgot Frieza was there because Frieza. Shows in, gets knocked out, and he's out of sight, out of mind. That's basically what happened. So, I, ah, I, I'm, mm, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just saying, Frieza's gonna, Frieza, Frieza and Goku, in my opinion, this is just my, my theory. They're gonna be the last one, and Frieza's gonna have a role to play. Frieza's gonna have a role to play. What if Frieza? Now we're getting into theory world, but what if Frieza kills? What if Frieza and Jiren are the last people there, right? What if Jiren's weak? He already beat Goku. It's just Frieza and Jiren. If and Jiren's weak, I already said that. But Frieza kills Jiren and he gets disqualified, but Jiren's out. So who would win? And then that would be a cliffhanger. Wouldn't that be crazy? I'm just going off the top of my head, guys. If you guys have a have have your own theories? Let me know in the comments. If you have better theories, let me know in the comments. That's just me, just free ball, free freestyling off off my head. Um, free ball. That's just me freestyling off. You know, just just me just bouncing some thoughts around. But um, episode was good though. I'm not ragging on the episode at all. I've watched the episode already three times, and it came out yesterday as as of this recording. Yeah. So you know, um, you know, I, I, if you guys like the episode, if you hate it, let me know down below. Don't forget to like, dislike if you don't like the video. Share and subscribe. Um, punch that bell just so you get notifications. Yes, I am doing reviews again. My PC is not acting up. I will be a building my PC. Um, my laptop's not acting up. I will be building my actual PC soon. So just look forward to just, you know, keep smashing that like button. Let's get some more impressions if we can. Some more, some more feedback. It helps the channel grow, and um, I will definitely see you guys next time.